Hi, here's everything you need to know about Segment Anything Model 2 in 5 minutes. So, why is it important, what does it do, and how much better is it really? So let's jump right in. Segment Anything Model 2 is a generalization of Segment Anything Model from Meta that was released 14 months ago. Now, this new model, it has some new capabilities, it runs faster, and is more accurate. So in terms of capabilities, it now also works on videos. And that is very, very powerful. I'll, I'll show you in a minute why that is powerful. The second thing is it is fast. So since it works on videos, we really care about frames per second. And it runs at 40 frames per second, which means that you can actually have a real-time experience with the model, which is really cool for many interactive uh, settings. Now, finally, it's also more accurate. And in the paper, they show how when they were building the data set they used, they got an 8x speed up in terms of annotation uh, performance. So that's really cool as well. Okay, so if you recall SAM, the original SAM model, what you would do is you would prompt it with either bounded boxes like this one or key points, maybe a mask, and then it would try to predict a segmentation mask for you. Then the issue arises if you want to do this on videos. On videos, it's a bit cumbersome, right? Because you need to do this particular repetitive task on and on again for every frame in the video. So what we have seen a couple of times is that people will employ other models to do the tracking afterwards. So you would run SAM, get a mask, and then pipe it into another deep learning model to get your uh, mask track, if you will, across the frames. Now, this is nice, but it's also uh, kind of cumbersome and it's not that nice in terms of, of uh, user experience. So here is a video of how they do it with SAM2. So as you would do with SAM1, you would add some prompts to get your objects. And now SAM2 can actually track the objects. Now, if you then at some point realize, oh, there is something wrong here. I just wanted the, the left foot. Now the right foot is tracked as well. Then what you can do is you can actually correct within the session, correct the annotation or the predictions. And then the model will from that point on understand what you're trying to do. So super smart. Um, and this is what makes it so much more powerful. It has this sort of uh, temporal understanding as well. Now, I think uh, quantitatively, it almost speaks for itself, right? So I mentioned before that you could use SAM and then some other tracking model. And it performs okay, but it's a bit cumbersome in terms of UX and also it's less accurate. Uh, now, on this part, they show how if you are correcting more and more frames within the video, you will actually get a, a nice, improvement in terms of uh, the, the predicted accuracy. So very cool. Uh, and then the question is, how did they actually do it? So the first thing they did was they leveraged a really large data sets, 50 times more segmentations than, than the last, the largest video segmentation data set out there already. And they also gave the model a working memory. So since we have this temporal aspect, you need to sort of take care about remembering which objects you're trying to track across frames. Um, and finally, they employ a new image backbone, which is fast, but it also has a hierarchical structure, which allows them to use skip connections, similar to what we have seen in UNIT, uh, which gives the, the accuracy of the, uh, the model uh, a performance boost. Okay, so this was a really, really short introduction, but it covers the main points, and I definitely encourage you to go and have a read in the paper. So I left out some stuff as well. There is a quite nice section about how they employed this idea about a data engine to collect that data set by first utilizing the old SAM, uh, annotating some videos, and then while they were annotating, they would train a SAM2 model that was kind of limited in, in capabilities, then use that to annotate faster, and then finally use the, the big uh, SAM2 uh, model to annotate even faster. So very uh, nice to read, very uh, interesting. They also have um, introduced an occlusion detector, which is basically dealing with the issue of uh, objects entering and leaving and then entering again the scene. Finally, uh, there are many more experiments uh, in, the, in the paper and actually across the board, they just outperform either this combination of SAM and the tracking algorithm or SAM itself. Definitely go, I encourage you to go read the paper. I will share some links to a blog post as well as the original paper and um, some other resources. That's it.